Well, 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 what do you know? Another day out on the ice here in beautiful northern Wisconsin. Today we're shifting gear, guys. We're just chasing crappies today, okay? I know I told you that in my last video and that turned into a bluegill plastic sleigh fest, but today truly we're looking for crappies. That's what we want, it's what we need, it's what we're going for. So we're gonna be out here probably dropping down some plastics uh, using our brand new Vexlar and just hoping for the best. We're probably not gonna keep any fish today, um, but it's gonna be a good time. We're out here with Cody from Tybee Outdoors. I got my future brother-in-law Toddy with me again today. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna go out here and do our best to see what we can slay up. Stay tuned. All right, guys, first drop here, just getting started. Oh, you mean where I told you we should punch the holes? So we uh, just made a little move. Our original hole popping was not in the right area. It was a little bit shallow, but so right now, Cody's over here working on, <laughs> Cody's working on punching a few more holes over here so we can try this spot. All right, this hole is about 10 feet. This is the deepest I've probably had so far. There we go, there's one, guys. Hooked up. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? What do we got? Feels like a decent fish. There's a nice crappie, guys. That is how we start the day off right there, baby. There we go, guys. Starting the day off right with a beautiful crappie. That one came up and absolutely smashed it right off the bat. There was two or three of them coming up together, and that one was definitely, definitely hungry. Good way to start the day right there beautiful beautiful colors and guys that was on the hog pour custom plastics they're made right here in wisconsin randy burton phenomenal guy makes some great plastics and i've been absolutely decimating the panfish on them this year so far so i'll drop a link below guys for the website make sure you guys go check them out uh they're doing damage i'm gonna go ahead get that beautiful fish back Wow, she's feisty. Let's get back down there and make that happen again. That was a nice nice starter crappie there. Absolutely beautiful morning right now. Gorgeous outside. There's another one, guys. This is a little guy. Holy mini crappie. That's worthy of a thumbnail pick. <laughs> Throw you on a tip up, buddy. Let's hope for a step up on this next one. A lot of fish down there now. Holy man. But unfortunately, I'm thinking most of these fish are probably small just by the way they're kind of reacting. Wow, that one just railed it, guys. Holy, oh, it came off. Dang it. Dang it, that one came up and just inhaled it. That was crazy. That was crazy. Here we go. Another little guy. Another really little one. Man, they are inhaling that bait, though. Holy man. Look, I'm going to try to see if I can show you guys this. I set the hook immediately. That bait is gone. That is why I use these plastics. That's crazy. Let's see if I can get this hook out without hurting this little dude. Almost there you go, buddy. Back home you go. You know, it's tough when you get into a school with a lot of small fish because it's tough to keep it away from them. Especially when they're really aggressive. You'll have four, five, six of them coming for it at once. And uh, you're trying to catch the bigger ones and these smaller ones are all over it. That time I got wrapped around the transducer. I'm pretty sure this is another smaller fish. He definitely thinks he's bigger than he is. It's not a tiny one, but it's not a big one. We'll take it. That'd be, you know, if we were keeping crappies, that would be a great eater crappie, honestly. That would be a great eater. But they're all, they're literally all, you know, six, seven inch fish. They're pretty small. The first one I got was probably pushing 12, and that was definitely by far the biggest so far. This one's got a little more weight to it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, this one's got a little fight, a little bit of razzle dazzle. There we go. There's another nice crappie. That's another 12 incher, guys. Another 12 inch crappie. Beautiful, look at those colors, man. I cannot stress enough the colors on these fish out here. I mean, they're just absolutely incredible. Guys, that's another absolutely beautiful crappie. Look at the beautiful colors on that fish. We're gonna go ahead and get that fish back so it can grow up to be a mega giant. Whoa, feisty. We're gonna drop down here one more time and see if we get something of quality. And if not, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick up and move again. Oh, we got a, got a good one coming, guys. Got a good one coming. There we go. 
Fish on, that's a good one, guys. That is a good one. That's a good one. Oh, dude, I just lost a giant. I just lost a freaking giant crappie. Dude, I knew it was huge. I saw the mark coming up. That mark is twice the size of any mark I've had today. Dang it. You know, one of the things that's amazing about uh, crappie fishing, guys, is the different styles of bites. You know, bluegill is a bluegill. It's pretty much just a slight tap. Um, but with crappies, you really have a different array of bites. It can be an up bite where they come up, and I eat, Cody had it in a video recently, where he had a fish come up so hard and smack his bait that it like knocked slack into it. You could have a bite where they, you know, they pound it really hard and rip your rod down, or you can have a tiny tap. So you just never know. We're just moving around now, guys, just trying to trying to locate some more fish. You can tell as the sun has come up that these fish are not sitting above bottom as much as they were. So you're kind of trying to work them a little bit more now. As that sun comes up, these crappies will definitely slow down and hold tighter to bottom. Yeah, I think these are bluegills, guys. I have whipped so many times. Like I barely missed any of the crappies earlier because they were inhaling it. So either the crappies are getting really finicky and nippy or these are just bluegills and the crappies have kind of laid down a little bit. It's hard to tell. I mean, until you, unless you're catching like giant crappies, the mark sizes are not drastically different from a decent sized bluegill. Here's one. Little crappie. Little crappie. That one is almost like void of color. He's like literally black and white. <laughs> That's crazy. Find something I like until I find a school of crappies that looks good. Here's a big suspended mark right here. See if we can get down before it's gone. Oh, yeah, he's going down. Come on, come on, see my bait, see my bait, see my bait. Yeah, sometimes you get those fish that disappear too quick and you can't get down fast enough. Wow, that fish was aggressive. Little guy, but holy man, did he, he wanted it bad. He came flying up the screen. A lot of fish down there. Maybe there's a big one or two mixed in. See, this is what I was talking about over there, guys. I really didn't have a school. And here I've got a school. So there's a chance that in this school, you know, that there's a few nicer fish mixed in. But all we can do is kind of try and see if we can provoke a bigger bite. There's one. There we go, guys. I think it's another little guy. Yep. Another smaller crappie. That one was hungry, though. Came up and inhaled it right away. Tell you what, guys, I really can't say enough about these plastics. I mean, I'm not a big like product pusher, but these plastics honestly are are so soft, so soft, and they're the perfect profile with this little tail fork here. I mean, they are just ideal for crappie fishing. This is them right here. Uh, again, you can see it's made by Randy Burton. Hog pours, hand poured baits. He makes bass baits, ice plastics, and those are those little one inch pink minnows, super duper soft. So definitely go check them out. Um, I'm a huge fan. I don't get kickbacks or get paid or anything like that. I just want you guys to know what I'm using so that way you guys are able to go out and use it as well. So pretty amazing baits. That's a wrap. We came out today, this morning, and we were able to put some crappies on the ice. Um, unfortunately, there was quite a few small ones. You know, the, the bite was, was not amazing, but uh, we did catch a couple that were 12 inches. We lost a giant, I mean a giant crappie. But you know what, it's always fun doing these trips here in northern Wisconsin. So if you guys like this video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment below, and don't forget to like. We will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, head on over, check us out on Instagram, and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you on the water next time.